Good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna be saving some pepper seeds. Been meaning to do it. Stay tuned. Just get my coffee. Well, I don't always drink coffee. Um, but on the weekends, it's, it's kind of nice. I usually do tea. Anyway, so we are going to save some pepper seeds today. This is aji amarillo. This is a supposed to be a medium to spicy pepper. These have actually been sitting on my counter for a few weeks from the last crop swap. Basically from when I put up that video, two or three videos ago. Um, so these have actually dried a little bit. So it's not, um, they're not completely fresh. I have one that's somewhat fresh over here, but that's a different pepper. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's actually go ahead and do it this way. Well, also basically, and depending on the pepper, you may or may not want um, gloves. This one I probably should, but I'm not going to. I don't have any, and I just want to save the seeds and. You can always wash your hands later. Just be careful not to touch any other part of your body because trust me, it will burn. See, so here we go. Now you don't have to use a knife. You can use if you have um, kitchen shears or you might even been able to do this with um, plant clips. What do you call them? Um, This one, these were brought to the crop swap by somebody. And I know my local Peruvian restaurant, one of the many actually, one of my favorite Peruvian restaurants, I should say it that way. If you're in my area, if you happen to be in my area, Casa Chasquis, I'll link them below. I don't know if he actually has a website. I know he has an Instagram account. So I'll link that as well. If I find the website, I'll put that in there. But anyways, he grows them outside. Um, right outside the restaurant, actually. And back where their parking lot is. He has everything in containers. He's got um, these. He's got a few other peppers. And I know he also grows his own um, wakatai for his uh, ahi. So this one actually wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, you can smell these, these are spicy. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to put it down. I'm just gonna let them dry on the center like this. It might take a little longer that way, but I mean, these things have been basically just sitting on the counter, drying on their own. This way it'll speed up the process. So the good thing about pepper seeds is they don't take as long either to process or to dry as tomato seeds, although the tomato seeds is here. If you saw my How to Save Tomato Seeds uh, video, I'll link that below as well. Um, after I've, you know, I've cleaned them off and put them on a paper towel on a plate like this, it honestly has only taken maybe a day or two, although it's been kind of warm here. Um, it's been on the windowsill on the inside of the house, you know, on the windowsill. We're basically right behind the kitchen sink. Um, and honestly, I probably could have packed them up after a couple days. But I've been leaving them up there for about a week. One, because I really don't have all that much time to do it, to pack them up. But um, they've dried pretty well. Um, but I went ahead and let them do that just because I don't have the time and I just want to make sure they're completely dry. So, which reminds me, I've got another cup over there of green zebra tomatoes. Um, I just packed up the blue creamberries uh, yesterday, I think, or day before yesterday. Let's see, so these. 
these I'm actually just going to Yes, right after this, I'm going to go over and wash my hands because the, the next peppers aren't spicy. These, I'm not sure what I can do with them. I don't know if I can feed them to my worms. I might throw them in the combo bin. Um, see, this one has been really dry. Actually, I don't know if this even is the right same pepper. So we're not going to do that one. This one, I can tell. The same orange. But these, I think, have almost dried on there. I don't know. The seeds don't look all that great. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's basically what it's going to look like. After the orange part stripe, you're just going to come through and just kind of rub your fingers together. And they're going to fall off, see? So I think those are probably ready. Um, so with small peppers like this, you can just leave them on the counter, you can string them up. Uh, I did that with some of my fish peppers that I had left over, I had a lot left over, because I plant produce like crazy. I also have some uh, Maya Red Habaneros, that also produce like crazy. Um, for the first batch for both of those plants, I gave them to a friend to some fermented hot sauce. But anyways, here. Some more, or some more pepper seeds. So these are all dry. So these are crunchy because they've been drying, and they're these are actually pretty dry. I don't know if you can hear it. Now the other way to dry these, you can put a string through them and make like a necklace or a braid. And you can actually just hang these up to dry. I'm doing that now with the, as I was saying about the habanero earlier and the fish pepper. I have them hung up. I found, you know, I went to YouTube University. I got online and I started looking up how to dry peppers by hanging. Uh, I found Doug and Stacy's video with uh, Awkward with Doug and Stacy. I'll link that below. Um, they basically, it's really simple. You just get a needle, put some thread through it, and then um, just poke them right at the uh, at the green stem or whatever color stem you may have. And I see some of these don't call that right, but we're gonna get in there. Um, and you basically just string them up and make like a necklace. Not very difficult at all. It took me all of like maybe five to 10 minutes per. I think it actually took longer just to get the thread through the hole in the needle right there. So this one isn't as dry as the other ones have been. And I still have one more pepper on this. I'm gonna wash my hands after this right after this, before I do the next pepper. But anyways, I hung them up. Um, I think she says in the video it should take about a month. I don't know, I might go hang them up in the shed because it's actually, even though the shed's you know, physically outside, it's sealed off. It doesn't, you know, it's water's tight, water sealed and all that, weather, I don't know what you call it, weather tight. seed. I've never grown these, so I want to save as many as possible. I've grown the other ones I have over here, um, but you still want to save as much as possible. See, this one's drier, so this one's making it a little easier. But yeah, with these small peppers, I didn't really do anything. I just brought them in and harvested them. Actually, well, these I didn't even harvest myself. I just brought them from the crop spot. Um, left them on the counter, and they kind of dried on their own. Pepper seeds don't take that long to dry. Okay. 
So we're going to take some of these off of here. Okay, so we have a decent amount of seeds, and that's only maybe five or six peppers. I didn't count them, I probably should have, but these are like loaded with seeds. Okay, so I think that's going to be it. Let me wash my hands real quick. Yeah, don't want to waste them. Okay, so for now that's it. And that one, that's the basic gist of it. I'm going to do these other ones. Is this, uh, these are Pippin's Golden Honey. This is Aji Amarillo, which just means yellow pepper, yellow aji. And then these are going to go and basically replace where the tomato seeds are drying. See, that's it. Same process for the other ones. Let me go ahead and about these and then we'll go ahead and work on these here in a second. Let's see. Um wow, these don't have that many seeds. These have also been up on the counter drying like the previous peppers we just did. But I don't know. Okay, I got four seeds out of that one. Let me see. These supposed to be sweet peppers. And they're supposed to be good stuffed. Okay, this one looks a little better, but. That pepper gave me a lot more seeds. So I don't know if it was just that individual pepper or what might have happened. This one was bigger. Uh, might have been more developed. Yeah, this one has a decent amount of seeds. So I think it was just that first pepper that may not have formed enough or I don't know. Alright guys, well that's it, as you can see. That's it for now, catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications for uh, when we upload a new video. Catch you guys on the next one, peace.